Hey guys, I just wanted to check in with you. I had mentioned in my last video that I was going to get us some samples crocheted and knitted of this Lion Brand Yarns Schitt's Creek yarn that I had purchased and let you guys know what I thought about it. So first off, as you can see, I have done a knit swatch and I have done a crochet swatch for us to just check. I'm gonna move that out of the way a little bit so we can focus on the swatches. I just finished these. They have not been blocked. They have not been washed. We've done nothing at this time. But what I can tell you is we get a really nice fabric here. Very nice. What I really like about this was there's just a teeniest, tiniest bit of sheen in this. Now it's not like that Caron Simply Soft type of a sheen. It's just a nice subtle sheen. But what it does is it makes for beautiful stitch definition. I think if you were going to do um, any kind of specialty stitches, now I just did knits with some garter for this sample, and then this sample I just did single crochet. But I think if you wanted to do cable work, if you were knitting and you wanted to do cables, or if you were crocheting and you wanted to do some like... Um, Oh, you know, specialty uh, crochet stitches. Um, it would really look beautiful. Um, I can't remember what that little star, what is it, the Suzette? Or I don't know. There's a lot of cute stitches. But, you know, sometimes if you're just using a solid color yarn, it can be really nice to um, do um, some fancier stitches. But it's beautiful just in the stockinette and in the... Uh, garter stitch. I, I I was really pleased with it and I will say it was very easy to work with. There, um, I didn't have any problems with splitting stitches. It felt good in the hand. Wasn't itchy or rough in any way so it was comfortable and I really enjoyed working with it. So the next test guys is I'm going to throw both of these into the washer and dryer. The uh, yarn ball does indicate that we can wash and dry this yarn. So I'm going to throw it through the wash and dry and then I'll come back and we'll look at it and see what we've got. This is an expert. You can see it has a nice drape. And I, I went on and used the recommended sizes for both of these little samples that I did, which was a um, five millimeter, uh, five millimeter knitting needles and five millimeter crochet hook. So they just called for the same across the board and I used it. Anyways, I will be back with you guys after I get this washed and dried and we'll see what it's like. See you then. All right, guys, through the magic of, I don't know, internet stuff and recording and what have you, it has now been about two weeks since I completed these swatches and washed them and dried them in the dryer. I just did uh, regular warm water washes and I did do high temp, high heat dry. And I am happy to say that both of these came out so nice. They're, I mean, they have a little bit of fluffiness to them, a little fuzzing, but nothing, nothing unacceptable at all. Looks good. The drape is beautiful. It's soft. Nothing shrunk or got odd. That's the knit sample. And then our crochet sample is here. As you can see, everything looks good. So, can you wash it? Yes, you can. Can you dry it? Yes, you can. I'm very happy with this yarn. I think this is a wonderful, budget-friendly acrylic yarn that can be used for anything that you like to make acrylic yarn. I know for me... That is anything for baby and especially for blankets, anything that I'm just going to wash a lot. So it's the Schitt's Creek Lion Brand yarn. So good stuff. Give it a try. I'm happy. I'll be making some good stuff and I'll share with you guys. And just so you know, I will be participating in Vlogmas. So tune in on, I think it's Friday. Today is Wednesday. Let me look. Yep. Friday is going to be the first. I have my yarn advent that I'm going to be opening from Trilogy Yarns. I'm going to be opening one, well, the daily on the daily. Yeah. 
And then I'm going to share with you guys the project that I'm going to work on because I have finally picked one out and I'm very excited for it. Um, and so I have a lot of shifts at work. Literally on Monday and Tuesday, I have 25 hours. Between Monday and Tuesday, I have 25 hours worth of hospital work whatever. I'm just going to do the best I can. So I'm really sorry that it took me so long to get a video out, guys. I mean, the holiday aside, we ended up canceling our holiday plans because we got the plague and I was really sick. And I have just in the last day or two started coming back to life again. So anyway, um, tune back in Friday and we will start Vlogmas. My first vlogmas, my first yarn advent. I'm really excited. So I will see you later. Have a good one. Bye.